There was a time that many in the media would rather forget. A time when Donald Trump becoming president seemed like a joke. He might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Which Republican candidate has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. Everyone stopped laughing as it quickly became clear that Trump was a Category 5 political force. But for all his success, it appeared he would lose the White House. Even if Donald Trump did win all of the toss-up states, he would still lose. We'll see what happens. In the final moments, even Donald Trump thought he would lose. Again, I was getting this news, which really sounded like it was sort of over. It will take a miracle for us to win. That is the quote from a senior advisor inside Donald Trump's uh, inner circle. Full disclosure, I, like Trump himself, believed Hillary Clinton would be the victor. Let's be clear, Donald Trump will lose the election. I got it wrong. I thought the evidence seemed overwhelming. Forget his dismal polls last week. He has almost never been ahead of Hillary Clinton in the polls for a single week. I blew it, and the fact that others did as well is no excuse. This is the story of why so many got it so wrong. It was Donald Trump versus almost all the experts, and as of right now, it looks like Donald Trump was right. Right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race. An entire industry blindsided. An industry and a country blindsided. Stunned journalists blamed the polls. The data was wrong. The polls were all wrong. What does this mean for the whole polling industry? Polling was wrong. We were wrong. Everything was wrong. Most people still believe that the polls were way off, including Donald Trump. Those polls were wrong in just about everything, weren't they? But that's not right. In fact, almost all the national polls had the winner wrong, but the numbers were not far off. The polling was like the least wrong of anything. The polling showed it was a close race, and people chose to disregard that. The race tightened in the final days, giving Clinton collectively a 3% lead. She ended up winning the popular vote by 2%. In other words, so close that it was well within the margin of error. Even statistics guru Nate Silver got it wrong, but he was less wrong than almost everyone else. He gave Trump a one in three chance of winning. That's a pretty good chance. If I told you there's a 29% chance the plane's gonna crash, you probably wouldn't board that flight. One reason everyone thinks the polls were wrong is that nearly every national poll put Hillary Clinton ahead consistently. Clinton leading in Florida, Clinton leading in North Carolina, Clinton leading in Ohio. Clinton leading in Nevada. I could go on and on and on. But some state polls were way off. And those bad polls were in key states in the Electoral College. And the wall comes tumbling down. This is the blue wall that uh, Hillary Clinton had talked about. In the last two elections, Barack Obama swept key states in the Midwest. So it was assumed Hillary Clinton would win there too. Wrong. When Clinton had trouble leading in polls in Ohio, that should have been a sign that there's something different about her coalition versus Obama's coalition. Clinton was counting on a surge of women and minorities at the polls, but the only surge in the Midwest was among white voters without college degrees. It used to be that college-educated white people voted Republican and working-class white people voted Democratic. So the social class profile of the two parties has flipped. It's, it's completely flipped, yeah. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. Trump's margin among whites without a college degree was the largest of any candidate in 36 years. In the center of the stage tonight, businessman Donald Trump. But perhaps the key reason why many believe Trump couldn't win no one even remotely like Donald Trump had ever run for president, much less won. And we need brain in this country to turn it around. He seemed impervious to negative stories. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. He would go down a list of American ethnic groups and insult every single one of them. Donald Trump 
Have you even read the United States Constitution? Like when he went after the parents of the guy killed in Iraq, that's like, that's revolting. If you look at his wife, she was standing there. She had nothing to say. She probably, maybe she wasn't allowed to have anything to say. You tell me. And you're like, what kind of politician does that? I think it was precisely because the media and the political class was so appalled. It seemed to almost be satisfying. Ah, look, he did it again. They're freaking out. Pull the hell. And then a video that some called the mother of all October surprises. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. He's lost any hope of having any kind of moral authority to lead. The assumption was that he would hemorrhage support among evangelicals and women. What he does with women doesn't matter to me. What he does for this country does. It seemed the more outrageous the accusation, the more an angry electorate saw it as a way to defy the political establishment. That is identity politics. If you are on the inside of the group, they may not like some things about you, but fundamentally, especially if it's a fight, we're on your side, you're on ours, you're gonna stand up for us. Perhaps the biggest reason Hillary Clinton looked stronger than she was? Look at the number of undecided voters in 2016 compared to 2012. Usually, undecideds break about 50-50, but in key states, late deciding voters broke heavily for Donald Trump. And with little over a week to go until the election, one event may have made all the difference. The Comey letter. FBI Director James Comey sent a letter to Congress announcing he was investigating a new batch of emails from Hillary Clinton's server. Trump had hammered the email issue again and again to great effect. She deleted the emails. She has to go to jail. After the election, you wrote, Hillary Clinton would probably be president if FBI Director James Comey had not sent a letter to Congress on October 28th. Yeah. What's the evidence for that? That she was winning by about six points before the letter. The letter came out. It reduced her lead to about three points, and that's, that's small enough of a lead where you can lose the Electoral College. And that, of course, is exactly what happened. I, I won. I mean, I became president. <laughs> <laughs>